What's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. Now, for the past couple of days, we've been doing a lot of testing with the RTX 2070. We have the Gigabyte WinForce Edition. We did a, a comparison between the previous generation and NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, do a uh, relevant comparison to what's available on the AMD side, which is going to be uh, most likely the Vega 64, which retails for around uh, the $500 mark, similar to what the RTX 2070 goes for for. Uh, we're also going to be throwing in a Vega 56 just in the mix to give you guys a broader perspective on things. So if you're interested, we're going to be taking a look at uh, obviously 4K resolution, Quad HD, and uh, 1080p. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now we're going to be taking a look at the uh, RTX 2070 from Gigabyte. This is the WinForce edition. Check out our previous video or click on the card for more details about this GPU specifically. And we're going to be comparing it to the reference grade Vega 64 and 56 GPUs. Obviously in terms of specifications, uh, the graphics cards are running on completely different architectures. It's hard to compare apples to apples perspective, but I'll throw the uh, kind of stream processors versus CUDA cores on the screen for you guys just to give you a brief idea of what we're looking at and uh, let's go uh, directly in uh, to the benchmark results uh, we start with the overall power consumption so uh, using Furmark, and again all of these GPUs are being run through the exact same system this is the total power consumption of the entire PC so we're looking at 317 watts which is uh, below uh, the uh, Vega 64 at 346 watts and uh, not as power efficient as the Vega 56 the less powerful card at 200 289 watts. In terms of time spy, this is pretty much where the RTX 2070 really shines. We get over 8,800 points versus 7,200 points on our Vega 64 and 6,200 points on our uh, Vega 56 respectively. Now synthetic benchmarks are not going to always deliver real world gaming performance. So let's get right into those real world uh, benchmarks. We're going to be taking a look at a couple of different titles at three different resolutions including standard HD, standard quad HD resolution as well as uh, the standard uh, ultra HD resolution of 3840 by 2160p. So if you're interested, let's get right into those benchmarks. Now, as you saw from the results, there's not a major difference between the Vega 64 uh, versus uh, the RTX 2070. Obviously, the 2070 is outperforming the AMD counterpart by a decent margin, uh, but that's kind of good news in the sense that, yes, uh, the 2070 is going to be faster than the Vega 64, but the Vega 64 is now going to be uh, replaced in a couple of months, and that's going to be great news for those of you guys who are looking for a deal because uh, the GPU is still fantastic in terms of 4k gaming quad hd gaming and super high frame rate uh, full hd gaming uh, so if you guys are interested in a new gpu and i've been waiting for the past couple of years uh, definitely going to be some good value propositions coming out with some used vega gpus or even some heavily discounted uh, vega gpus which wasn't the case when they first launched which is kind of ironic but uh, the rtx 2070 uh, for the most part is outperforming them and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the new nvidia lineup of gpus are going to compare when amd launches uh, their new series in, hopefully in the next couple of months so definitely stay tuned for the channel for an updated comparison if you have any specific questions let me know check out the description for more details about everything we talked about other than that thanks again for your support thanks for watching we'll see you real soon take care